Now, we've done deliverance on folks. Kelly Grace and I have done deliverance on folks that have said, well, I, I've been taught by my pastor. I can't hate anything. So this is really hard for me. I, I've been taught by my pastor. I can't hate anything. We've had men and women tell us that. I said, are you crazy? Well, as a Christian, we're not allowed to hate anything. Whoever told you that is a fool. Or they just don't know any better. Either they're a fool or they just they just don't know any better. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you are instructed to hate your enemy. And who is your enemy? The one that comes to steal, kill, and destroy your life. Your enemy's not in flesh and blood. Your enemy is Satan and his demons. And that is your enemy. And you are to hate him. With every fiber of your being, you are to hate him. So I always take it a step further because I hate those things. I hate them and I take it a step further. And when I know by by uh, the spirit of God, as I'm doing a deliverance, that the demons that are afflicting a person, especially if they're afflicting them from the outside. And there's some of you in here that have been through deliverance with us. If I know that they are being oppressed from the outside because somebody that is practicing sorcery or witchcraft has sent those demonic spirits. I send them back to where they came from. Not to hell, because you can't do that. You don't have the ability to do that. Jesus didn't even send them to hell. It wasn't their time yet. He sent them into pigs and into dry places. But I send them back to the person that sent them. So that they can go back and let them know. They got some over here that are not playing. When you go to attack the people that are in extraordinary solitude ministries, you are attacking people that are covered by the blood of Jesus. Now, you have a uh, responsibility. You involved in a church like this and you're covered in the blood of Jesus and you walk out from under that covering willfully and you decide, well, I think I'll just go ahead and dip my nose back in this thing. Or put my lips back on this pipe and dip back into this thing. You are literally putting your life in danger. You are, you will be a real fool. To be involved in a ministry like this that is operating in the supernatural. And come out from under the covering of this willfully on your own. You'd have to be crazy. You'd have to be crazy. You would be suffering calamities. You would you need to get back right with God. And if you didn't see what we talked about last night, the Holy Spirit led us into a, a beautiful teaching last night. You need to repent. You need to repent and get back right immediately. Repent and get back right and get under that spiritual covering immediately and stop playing. You put yourself in danger. You'd be crazy. You'd be crazy. But we've always issued that warning in here and we've done it for a year now. Just you just can't do it. It's just you'd be silly to do it. You got to get back right. OK, it's time to settle down and get back right with the Lord in the name of Jesus. Ask for forgiveness. Truly repent. Turn from it. Walk away from it and get back under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Remember in the house. Right. Passover in the house. Safety. Covered by the blood, by the blood of the lamb. The instruction was don't leave the house. Once the blood was placed on the doorpost and the lintel, don't leave the house. Come out from under the blood, no protection. Stay under the blood, protection. Somebody can put a curse on you. Somebody could try to put a curse on me, put a curse on you, and you know what will happen? You know there's scripture in the Bible, man, where that somebody, uh, 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 what was his name? Absalom, trying to put a, a, a curse on somebody and would come out as blessing. They're sitting there trying to pronounce a curse that's coming out in blessing. Somebody try to put a curse on you. It's not sticking on you. It's not sticking on you. You're a child of God. You're blessed. 